Hi, this is Dr. Bhaskar. I am a maxillofacial surgeon and I received my six years of training at All India Institute of Medical Sciences, New Delhi. There, uh, we used to operate a lot of TMJ and Kalosis cases and TMJ and Kalosis is something which fascinates me a lot. Uh, so, and I am very much into guided surgeries. I here use Blue Sky Plan which is more intended for uh, use in the in uh, implant planning I use it here I have used it for uh, TMJ and closes release guide planning uh, let's see uh, I'll show you how to plan a case for uh, ankylosis release let's first have a look at the coronal section of the CT so this you can see on the right side there is a complete ankylosis of the TMJ and if you go on the left side uh, there is a, a deranged anatomy okay so i am preparing a guide for osteoarthrectomy on the right side let's see the orthopentomogram this thing you can see here there is a deranged joint anatomy so now we can see the the right side of the vrt reconstruction we see the right side of the tmj which is completely fused with the temporal bone similarly you can see on the coronal sections so when you do a gap arthroplasty or you want to remove a door tear and carousel release you need to take care of your anatomical landmarks um, like this here uh, your osteotomy should lie somewhere in this cleavage so that you stay away from the skull base and you need to make a inferior cut about 15 millimeters from the upper cut uh, so i will start with putting implants of about um, one millimeter diameter uh, i'll tell you why just a minute and about 30 millimeters of length okay and i want to place it at somewhere this position and i want to do my osteotomy like this so this. so my implant marks the position of my osteotomies so this way i have put a lot of implants i place plants like this i have already placed and i will just switch on those implants uh, upper one and upper two yeah. So, so the okay, you can see the upper one implant and the upper two implant. Okay, just a minute. Yeah. These two implants they demarcate the uh, superior cut, and if you can see on the coronal sections, see the coronal sections. I will hide the IDs. You see the coronal sections. And similarly, I plan for the lower cut. Um, see lower, uh, this and this. Okay, so you can see the four implants. So the upper two tells you the upper osteotomy mark. The lower two tell you the lower osteotomy marks. And uh, one more implant I would like to place in the middle, which will be used for putting the screw to anchor or retain the. Uh, guide in place while the osteotomy is being done with the instrument uh, here we usually use a, a piezoelectric saw the next step is to decide the diameters of the guide hole the implants that demarcate the osteotomy the guide hole is one millimeters and um, one millimeters and the height is five millimeters and it is offset as one millimeter and this middle middle implant that will uh, harbor the that will be used for placing the uh, retaining screw will, the screw will be of two millimeters diameter so the implant i have kept as two millimeter and the and the guide tube guide hole diameter is two millimeters and uh, height is three millimeters okay So uh, I finalized this. I would go back to the surfaces and make a um, 
I will use this original to get create a model to making a working surface. Okay, so you click on the create model button and it creates a surface. Yeah, it has already created a surface now. That's, uh, I will hide this. I had already created one and I named it as working model. Yeah. Good. So this is the working model over which all of my guides will be planned. Okay. The position of the implants remains the same. Now I go to the uh, implant list. All my implants have been locked and uh, the guide tubes are uh, visible and next I go to the guide panel uh, next step I want to place I want to join these osteotomies these osteotomy implants so I make a add window there's an add window option when you right click and it shows this kind of windows I uh, you can rescale them and position them this is this is this is the kind of uh, widget that you get along with the add screen window and then you take this widget and position it where you want to uh, just a minute and you can position it as you want it to be same way I had already done it and okay so so I wanted to place it somewhere here and another one I wanted to place here I have already done that and well, you'll see why I have done that. Yeah. Okay, so I increase its size. Yeah. Good. Okay. And I have drawn a curve around it. Let's go to the guide panel and uh, you go to the advanced options and you draw a curve. The curve is already have drawn it and you can adjust the curve points to design decide the extent of the guide yeah. and then you hit create such a uh, you check the maxilla and the density surface model is being used as a surface for your construction of the guides and then you create the surgical guide yeah this will take a little time because it's a lot of processing so finally you get uh, this kind of a guide I'll just switch off the implants and the so you can see the guide finally this is how it looks okay okay so you can trim the margins of this guide using the surfaces and trim tool let me show you how to do it yeah. so this is, the uh, this is the guide that has been generated just see the contours of the guide on the corner section as well so you can see the fit of the guide is really nice <coughs> and now you can go ahead with the trimming so you select the option cut hold the shift key and this is then trim the guide from all the margins so i have already trimmed one and i'll show you the final guide that i made so this is the guide that I made after trimming. Okay. So there can be some errors. You can smoothen it. You can take it to mesh mixer and do a lot of stuffs to it. Uh, yeah. You can export this guide and take it to mesh mixer. Do what you want. Smoothen it. Add your name. The patient's name can be added and then you print it in a biocompatible material on a on a SLA or an SLS okay so this is the final guide that you that you get 
and uh, i would like to tell something about this kite so the slot that you see in this it is to accommodate your um, piezo surgical scalpel uh, the bone cutting instrument that you would use or a reciprocating saw you can tweak this in many ways uh, <coughs> you can you can uh, cut um, you can make only this this part and uh, i usually prefer making only the upper cut and uh, you can in, in, in include about two uh, holes for the securing the uh, guide to place two screws or you can change the dimension you can change the dimension of the slot in case you have a different instrument and you know its size i'll just show you how to do it so basically you have to uh, right click and show the win the windows and you change the dimension of these windows you right click on this and enter size so you want to make if you have a, a scalpel that is about 1 mm or 1.5 mm so you change the depth and you make it 1.5 okay so it will increase the uh, thickness of the slot to accommodate your instrument similarly you can do on the other side a lot of things can be done it's up to you how you want to design it thank you